this is Flak, or an alpha version of it anyway. It's a 2.5D fighter jet game, which is a faster way of saying that the gameplay occurs in two dimensions, while the graphics are three-dimensional. Flak is the result of my senior pathway project in game design at Salem High School. The player controls a single fighter jet and fights against computer-controlled enemies ranging from fighters to lightly armed patrol boats to fully-fledged fleets with carrier groups. With a few exceptions, everything the player observes or interacts with was created by myself. As a rule of thumb, if it's not water, then I made it. I made 3D models such as the player's fighter using Blender. I made sprites for the menus and heads-up displays using GIMP. Every sound effect I used originated from free assets found in the Unity Asset Store, which were then mixed and modified in Audacity until they matched the sound I was looking for. For example, the fighter explosion sound effect is actually four different sounds played together with a modified pitch. The most important aspect of making the game work is the programming. Here I have a folder called Scripts. This folder contains the C-sharp code that makes the game work. If something in the game moves, rotates, attacks, or responds to any kind of player input, then I had to program it to do so, and it could not do so without that programming. This project was very much a learning experience for me. My advisor, Mr. Smith, while supportive, does not know much about Unity or any of the other programs I used while making this game. As a result, my project was largely an independent study. The only way I was going to figure things out was through trial and error, or by researching solutions. Everything I know about Unity, Blender, GIMP, and Audacity was self-taught. As if to prove my point in saying this, the very morning I'm recording this, I booted up Unity to find an error in the console that I did not recognize. I looked up the error, and it turns out that Unity is just sad it can't connect to the online servers, and the error is safe to ignore. Sure enough, by 3pm, the error was gone. Next year, I will be attending the Rochester Institute of Technology with a major in game development. This senior pathway project helped me verify that game design is truly what I want to investigate going into college. As for rising seniors looking to pursue a senior pathway project, have this advice. Only invest in a project if you are truly interested in it. There will be setbacks. Don't let those setbacks make you lose sight of your goals. Patience and perseverance are your friends. 